It kind of just looks like two rags have been stitched together. My bank account is literally screaming right now. But yes, this is the dress. It's very dreamy. And considering it was 400 pounds, I would expect nothing less. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you guys can see by the title, is yet another trying out weird ASOS clothing items. I feel like right about now, everyone needs a little bit of humor because we're all stuck at home, it's pretty boring, and I just wanted to do some online shopping, to be honest. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. I actually do quite a lot of these videos. It's kind of become like a little series on my channel where I try out weird clothing items, really just for the fun of it. There's not actually much point to it apart from your entertainment but genuinely I can't be the only person that scrolls through a website sometimes and looks at some of the weird clothing items and thinks to myself how and why did they design this so today I have two massive bags from ASOS right here wow they were very heavy I'm intrigued so I hope you guys enjoy this video and get to have a little laugh at my expense as always I guess without further ado let's get on into the video all right so the first bag is this one and this one doesn't doesn't feel as heavy as the other one actually. They are freaking huge. Let's crack into it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> the first thing I see is the most expensive one. Oh my lord. Look at this. Is this a pillow? I legit am gonna check how much I paid for this because I swear I paid like a thousand pounds for all these things. My bank account is literally screaming right now. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right guys, just brace yourself. This dress right here cost 425 pounds. Like, are you okay? Who does that? Well, I guess me because I bought this to try it out for you guys. It's called the Needle and Thread Layered Tule Maxi Dress in Rose Pink. This is one of the most expensive dresses I think I've ever bought from ASOS. And I was just intrigued because it looked like a massive giant ruffle in a dress. So let's take a peek. Let's take a little look. <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't know what I expected. It's that she just a dress that looks like a giant ruffle, just like the photo. But I really wanted to see how this would look on me, you know? It is quite good quality, I have to say. Like, the actual fabric feels nice. It doesn't feel itchy. The ruffle dress at the bottom, like the actual skirt of it, is massive. Like, look how big this is. There's so many ruffles, it is so long. Literally this is the ideal princess dress. But I mean, come on, 400 pounds for this. Like, I swear this fabric isn't even that expensive. Like, it's literally just a mesh netted fabric. I mean, I'd understand if it was like a silk fabric or like, I don't know, a 400 thread, no, that's not even that much. Like a thousand thread count cotton or something. I don't know my luxury fabrics, okay? But you know what I'm trying to say, right? But this, this is literally just a mesh, mesh fabric all over. But I guess let's try it on because I didn't pay 400 pounds for nothing. Okay guys, this dress is literally ridiculous. I mean, look at it. It's just a giant ruffle. It is kind of pretty though. Like I have to admit, I could actually see something like this on the red carpet worn by like a big celebrity. I do think it's very out there though. And just like a regular person like me would definitely never have an occasion to wear something like this. But a girl can dream and a girl can pretend that she's a princess. I really like how much volume this dress has as, like look at all these ruffles like there's so much of it and when you throw it up it looks so cool I've just been having fun for like the last five minutes trying to take a thumbnail mid-air like this <laughs> so hopefully I got one but yes this is the dress it's very dreamy and considering it was 400 pounds I would expect nothing less I think it is really pretty I kind of don't want to get out of this now I did not think that I would like this I thought this would look ridiculous on me but now that I've got it on I kind of don't want to get it off all right so the next outfit I have on my phone right here it's basically a co-ord. This is again a very out there outfit that I think I would personally never have the guts to wear outside, but let me know what you guys think. So the skirt was 45 pounds, which is a little bit pricey, and then the jacket was 81 pounds. So again, quite an expensive outfit, and this is a set kind of. Okay, are you guys ready for this? This is the skirt. It's basically tin foil. Actually, I'm getting quite like a diner vibe, like an American diner kind of vibe from this. This is what it looks like from the back. It's got like a print. What does that even say? OBXB. It just says force OBXB. But anyways, this is the skirt. And then the jacket is something else. It is literally 
this. It looks like a spacesuit. Get this, if McDonald's was a microwavable meal that you could buy in a supermarket, this is what it would look like <laughs> in a clothing form. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm kind of losing the plot now. I've been stuck at home for way too long. But anyways, yeah, this is the jacket. It is quite large, very oversized. It's got this pocket in the front. This was hella expensive. I don't know who would ever wear this out seriously. I'm sorry if there's someone out there that actually likes this, but personally, it's just not my cup of tea, but I'm gonna try it anyways and see how it looks on me. Okay guys, this is the microwave outfit. I don't know how to feel about it. The hood is absolutely massive. It's making my head look like a cone head. Also, I did not talk about this when I was showing up the hoodie, but it's actually lined with some really heavy duty fleece. This ish is warm, I'm telling you. I'm literally sweating right now. I think it's kind of funky though. Like it's very different, very alternative. Now that I've got it on, I could say so many jokes about it, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like some people would actually really like this. It's very unique. I like the fact that it's got pockets on the sleeves. I think that's a very useful tool. It does look like an astronaut outfit, but you know, that's the style. This is how the cool kids are dressing nowadays. <laughs> the skirt also has pockets, which I really like. You guys know how I feel about pockets and they are like attached by Velcro. What do you guys think? I don't really know how to feel about it. I kind of like it now that I've got it on, but still, I would never wear it out. Okay, the next clothing item is again from the same brand as the previous one. It's from a brand called DB Burden, I think. And this one is, interesting to say the least. So this is actually a dress. It's very denim heavy, but it has like a very weird twist to it, which you guys are gonna see in a sec. I just wanna point out though, that on the label, it says something really, really awesome. It says clothing has no gender, which I think is so cool. So let's open up this bad boy and see what this dress is about because one of you guys sent me this on Twitter when I asked you guys to, you know, send me weird clothing items from ASOS and I saw this and instantly it went in my basket because I was like, that is weird. You guys are good at this. Okay, so this is the dress. It's a full length maxi dress. This is the top, which the top I don't have a problem with. Like I actually kind of like it, I think it's cool. Not my style, but I can appreciate it. And when you get to the bottom, it starts doing this weird, patchy fabric thing. I don't even know how to describe this. It randomly has like a camo element at the bottom. Can you guys see that? And it's not even the same length. They're like two different pieces of fabric. It kind of just looks like two rags have been stitched together, but that's just my opinion. To be honest, I think I'm slightly hating on this because I just know I would never ever be able to pull something like this off. This dress was not cheap. It was 80 pounds. It was reduced from 115 pounds. We're gonna see if I can rock this new alternative kind of style. Let's do it. All right guys, I don't know about you, but this dress is giving me like Where's Wally meets Kim Possible kind of vibes and I just think it's a strange combination, to be honest. To start off with, I don't like anything asymmetrical, so it's driving me mad that this isn't like all one length. It also has a working zipper right here. I don't know what for, but it's there. Also, the silhouette of this dress is giving me like Matrix vibes. I don't know why. But let me know what you guys think of this dress. Would you ever wear this? Do you think it's too weird? I think it's personally very strange, which is exactly why it's in this video, but each to their own, hey? I. I'm gonna give this one a miss. All right guys, the next weird ASOS clothing item we have is actually a pair of shoes. It came from the brand Koi Footwear. Can we just take a second to appreciate how cute this box is? I'm just gonna put this out there. This pair of shoes costs 80 pounds, which is quite expensive. Now I know why I spent so much money on this bloody shop. Everything is so expensive, especially when it gets to like the weird, very particular taste kind of clothing. So this is what the shoe looks like. And to be honest, it's not as weird as some of the other things I've tried on my channel before shoe-wise. So this is what the like actual shoe looks like. It is very long. It's kind of like a thigh high, but it's got this weird, like, I don't even know, like bungee cord uh, attached all the way throughout the shoe, going up in like, you know, a tie crisscross kind of effect. The fabric feels really nice and like velvety on the actual shoe. And I've got to say, I actually really like the bottom part of the shoe as well. It's very like chunky, which I quite like. So here is the dress. We've got a bit of an animal print going on. I don't really like anything animal print to be honest, but we're gonna give this a go because it glows in the dark. So let's see what this actually looks like. 
like. It is very extra. The sleeves are actually lined with some kind of like wiring to kind of keep its shape. Essentially, this is just a very extra mini dress probably meant for like the clubs, which let's be real, none of us are going to the clubs right now. This dress actually cost 22 pounds, but it was reduced from 60 pounds, which kind of makes me think like, how the hell can you reduce it that much? Surely not many people were liking this. All right guys, so I decided to put the shoes and the dress together because I felt like the colors kind of went together, you know? Let's just start off with the dress. I actually couldn't even zip it up all the way because it is so tight. I would definitely need someone's help to like do it up all the way. The fabric of this dress is quite nice. It's very thick and quite comfortable, but it is super tight. And these shoes, I'm telling you guys, they were a literal nightmare to get on. And I'm sure they're gonna be just as difficult to get off. And right now I kind of feel like my circulation is being cut off, but that's okay. I think this outfit is very much a clubbing girl kind of outfit. I personally would never ever wear this. The shoes are quite funky, but the dress, is not my taste. I guess all there's left to do is to turn off the lights and see if this dress actually glows in the dark. Three, two, one. Does it glow in the dark? No. Oh my God, this is so disappointing. Maybe it requires like UV light, not just regular daylight. Oh man, I've been conned. I was so looking forward to this to glow in the dark. All right guys, the next item is yet another metallic kind of clothing item. This is actually a metallic poncho. This is from the brand Monkey. It actually is so cute. What the hell? Look at this. This kind of looks just like a little bag. Like you could just take this to a festival with you. Obviously once we finally get to, you know, go outside. But this is so cute. It comes in a little bag. That's adorable. This was only eight pounds, but I just thought it was a little bit strange because it's a poncho and it's metallic and it's a little bit extra. I feel like this is one of those clothing items that would make you so freaking hot because it would attract the sun. It has a hood, it's very creased, which I mean, it's always gonna look like this. It's never gonna look nice. And it's literally just a big square of this metallic fabric. So let's pop this on over my clothes and see what it looks like. All right guys, so this is what the poncho looks like. For eight pounds, I don't think it's bad. I think the quality of it is pretty decent. The only thing is it is very like extra. It is very loud and out there. And not only is it loud in terms of the color, but it's also loud in terms of just sound. There's a lot of ruffling and rustling and yeah, I probably wouldn't go for something like this if I was going for a raincoat or a, like a rain poncho. This is what it looks like with the herd as well. Um, yeah, I just think it's a little bit weird, mainly because of the color and like the metallic sort of finish. Also, it is very, very large. Literally look how big all this fabric is. Like you really don't need that much. But yeah, if you're looking for a very extra rain poncho then, here you go. Okay, the next item is actually another pair of shoes. So this is how they come in a tiny little box and they are from the ASOS own brand. I just saw these and I thought these are just so freaking weird and kind of ugly. That's just my opinion, but I think they're a little bit ugly. This is the shoe. Um, It's basically a flip flop kind of because it's got this like weird thing for your toe. It has a button on the end of it and then it's very like square. It's very angular. It kind of makes me think of duck feet, which is not really the kind of vibe I usually want to go for when it comes to shoes. But yeah, it's very angular. It's very like, I don't know, modern. I would say it kind of looks like a piece of abstract artwork. It's the kind of thing that you would see at like the Tate Modern Art Museum. But yeah, I just thought this was hella weird. I would never ever wear something like this. But yes, I just knew I had to buy these to show you guys how weird they are in this video. And they were 60 pounds. So they're not really the cheapest pair of shoes either. Okay guys, the very last item is actually a dress. Now this dress, again, was very expensive. And it's actually from Adidas or Adidas, however, you want to say it. In the UK, I swear a lot of people say Adidas. Like that's just how we say it, but let me know how you guys say it in the comments. This dress came in two colors, but of course I had to get the pink. The reason why I say this was quite pricey is because it was literally 110 pounds. This is it on the top. It looks you know, pretty normal. It just has a few ruffles here and there. So yeah, on the top, it just kind of looks like a normal Adidas kind of jumper, but then the ruffles continue all the way 
down the blimming dress as you guys can see I just thought this was a weird combination because it kind of looks sporty but then it goes into like a ruffly maxi dress which is very unusual I would say also this looks like it might be a little bit too large for me so let's just ignore that but let's try it on anyways and see how it looks okay so here is the adidas dress and like I said it's just a weird combination I don't know what the ruffles are doing down there but also it is very skimpy like that is my butt cheek right there these ruffles I like barely covering my bum right now. I don't know why, but it just goes so high up here. That's literally my underwear there. This is what it looks like from the other side. I just don't think it's a very well fitted dress. It's not flattering. It's not doing anything for my body shape. It's just like a nightgown. That's kind of what it looks like. I'm sorry, Adidas. I love the color and I love like, you know, the sporty stuff that you guys do, but this just ain't it. All right, guys. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and, you know, just got some entertainment out of it at least because this video is obviously not serious at all. Obviously no hard feelings to ASOS. Like I absolutely love ASOS. They have some bangers of clothing on their website, but they do also have some very strange clothing for people with an acquired taste. Just because I deem these clothing as like weird or strange it doesn't mean anything like this is just my opinion so if you guys like them you do you boo but yeah that is all from me if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you guys do it's just the red button down below also be sure to follow my vlog channel roxy and matt we post a lot of like home vlogs travel well we used to post travel and you know just everything pretty much so if you guys want to see that side of my life as well head over there and also follow me on my social media at roxoras and i hope you guys are staying safe and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.